in this module we'll be seeing the definition and method for inspecting the apical impulse now this is a cursory examination of the apex where you see the anterior part of the chest so here you are just seeing the anterior part of the chest so this is the area of interest for us primarily so which is called the precordium so it's a cursory examination of the apex you can usually seen standing from the right side of the patient so just just a casual look to see if any precordial movement is readily visible a more specific observation for apical impulse which can be defined as the lowermost and the outermost part of the cardiac impulse which is seen so commonly the lowermost outer part of the cardiac impulse is seen at the fifth intercostal space that is one space below the nipple of the patient so and it is seen about an inch medial to the mid clavicle line so here you have the midpoint of the clavicle so you will be seeing it a space below the nipple slightly medial to the mid clavicle line so this particular relation with the mid clavicle line is not clear if just remember it is on or just medial to the mid clavicle line so long as it is up to mid clavicle line we do not call it as a displaced apical impulse so when you look for the apical impulse after a cursory inspection of the apex without any illumination you need to use a torch ideally a torch a linear torch with a central band of broad light so you illuminate it tangentially so you can illuminate it from medial to lateral so you will hit it tangentially at the point where the apical impulse is expected to be seen so in this direction and then if it is not seen there you will go a little bit down and see and see whether you are able to see an apical impulse then you may move the torch more laterally and you may illuminate it in this direction so basically you want to see whether the apical impulse is first seen and if it is seen at the expected place which is the fifth space medial to the mid clavicular line or it is displaced downward or downward and outward so you utilize the illumination tangential illumination whichever way you want to appreciate the position of the apical impulse and there are numerous reasons why the apical impulse may not be seen commonest dream being a thick chest wall or females where the soft tissue uh, will prevent you looking at the apical impulse very clearly apart from it if the apical impulse is hidden behind the rib you may not be able to inspect the apical impulse so when the apical impulse is not seen it may not add much value for you because commonly in many individuals it is not seen but the apical impulse is seen at an unexpected place downward or shifted lateral then it will add value in the diagnosis now here we i am just showing a visible apical impulse so this is the head end of the individual and this is the foot end of the individual so just to have an idea about how it will be seen so for convenience sake the the visualization has been done from the uh, left side of the patient but you need to try to uh, peep over and see from the right side of the patient so for convenience sake we are showing it from the opposite side so you expect to see the apical impulse somewhere here so you expect to see the apical impulse somewhere here right and if it is not seen you will space one space below see very carefully in these two regions and see if you can make out a clear pulsation
so you would have seen a outward pulsation somewhere in this region okay you would have saw a brief outward pulsation in this region so i'll play it again so now you concentrate in that area and see whether you are able to really appreciate the outward pulsation there just a very brief outward pulse what you are actually seeing in this case So this is a very uh, just visible one impulse faintly seen. So this is a normal visualization of apex, but the area of the apex is actually large. You will understand when we go for the subsequent conception apical impulse. Now here you just see few areas. I'll mark it in advance so that you can see it. See this is the nipple you are seeing. We are able to see the spaces, so we can tell that this is the fifth intercostal space. So see very carefully these locations. See whether you are able to appreciate an apical impulse pulsation. So here actually, what is happening? What you will see is the apical impulse will be seen in more than one intercostal space that is what you are actually trying to see in this particular video see first you see in this location so you will see an apical impulse here now what you see below is not an impulse that is the intercostal indrawing so here there is an apical impulse scene. Now you see if we can see an apical impulse about this space and this space. So you can see that there is a pulsation seen here, also a faint pulsation seen here. So this is an example of a apical impulse which is seen in more than one in intercostal space and it is also shifted downward and outward. Okay. So this is a characteristic hyperdynamic apical impulse. So when on apical impulse and the apical impulse is seen in more than one intercostal space, straight away you call it as a hyperdynamic apical impulse. So, so in this module, I have just given you what is an apical impulse where you need to look for the apical impulse in inspection and how you will be able to see an apical impulse. So I just gave a few examples of one focal apical impulse, which was a large area apical impulse, but only one area you saw the apical impulse. There was another apical impulse where you could see the apical impulse more than one intercostal space. So don't bother about the types of it. So this is the method you should follow to examine the apical impulse.